Good morning, everyone. Just getting into Saturday, and guess what's falling from the sky still? Big rains, folks. Not a pretty early morning, and that'll be the case until about, say, 5, 6 in the morning. Some areas will pick up a good inch or two of rain in between now and then, so overnight conditions are not pretty. Good rumbles of thunder around the area as well. As you can see on Live 5 Doppler radars, look at the extensive area of rain that was going on. At one point, we had a severe thunderstorm warning in effect right there just to the west of Fernandina Beach. As again, some very heavy thunderstorms, gusty winds are occurring there. Other areas just seeing the downpours, and we'll follow that all the way through the overnight hours. Just stay careful on if you're going to be out driving. This rain should push on through by around 4 in the morning. At 11 o'clock, this was the latest on the Hurricane Center. The important detail here on Irma, the winds will fluctuate. Just understand that will be the case. Could go from a Category 3 down to a 2, then back up to a 4. It just depends on how the atmosphere is kind of controlling the conditions around Irma. And water temperatures there are kind of marginal. Waiting on the lightning. Waiting on the lightning. Still waiting on the lightning. Okay. You'll have to trust me, it's out there, and it has been very extensive here since about 11 o'clock. All right, there's your 10-day forecast. As we concentrate on the first three days, that's Labor Day weekend, today, Saturday, and Sunday. Still threat of rain out there, Monday too, but I think there'll be scattered showers across the area. The next big round of rain will be on Wednesday. When, I get, when we get to look at the Labor Day weekend forecast, understand Monday's your best day, Wednesday's your worst day, and then those days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, will be the days we'll watch where Irma ends up. Could be New England, could be closer to us.